how to quickly place an order from the chart. Pending orders can be placed from the chart using the trade submenu of the chart context menu. Uh, just by simply placing the mouse cursor on the necessary price level on the chart and execute the appropriate context menu command. Depending on your cursor position, available order types are displayed in the menu. If the menu is activated above the current price, a user can place a sell limit and a buy stop order. If the menu is activated below the current price, a buy limit and sell stop order can be placed. Available distance between the selected and current price for the symbol is additionally checked, such as stop levels. Uh, once the command execution, the order window will then appear, allowing the user to adjust its parameters more precisely. Just keep in mind, if one-click trading option is enabled within the platform settings, orders are placed at a specified price instantly without displaying the trading dialog window. All right, so I'm going to show you some examples of how to place trades directly off the chart. Very easy, very straightforward. This is probably where you may want to use the precise value function in the toolbar here, which is to the right of the cursor icon. This is it right here, the little cross here. This gives you a better visual of where your mouse cursor is hovered in terms of price, so you have an understanding of where you're, go you're going to place the trade. Unless, you know, you just have really good eyes and you can just eye it up, just have it, you know, just see where your cursor is hovered and it'll just give you a better idea. So. For myself, I prefer to use the crosshair, so it's all personal preference. Again, to activate, click that little crosshair icon there, or hit Control plus F as a keyboard shortcut. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to identify where we want to place the trade. So let's just say it's going to round it off to the nearest tick. So we're looking at the mini S&P right now, which ticks in quarter increments, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, then full point. So we know that there's no such thing as 2142.56. So what I'll do is I'll round it off to 42 half. All right, so if I right click with my mouse, right now my mouse cursor is currently hovered below the current market price, which is 2143.25. At that price level where my mouse cursor is hovered, we can only place a buy limit or a sell stop. So when you right click on the chart, and then you're gonna go to trading within the context menu here, those are the only available order types that you're going to see because those are the only valid order types that can be placed based on where the mouse cursor was hovered initially when I right-clicked on the chart. All right, so that's buy limit, sell stop. Here's an example. If I go above the market price, so right now we're at 43, the only order type that can be placed above the current market price would be a sell, stop, a sell limit or, or a buy stop. All right, so if I right-click, Notice now you can see sell limit and buy stop are the only two selections. All right, so it's kind of a, an auto detect function on the chart trader. Basically, it's not going to allow you to place an incorrect order on the wrong side of the market, which I'm always a fan of. All right, so let's go ahead and just place an order below the current market price. We're going to go ahead and hover down here way below. So we'll say 2140.49, which is going to be 2141.5. half. Right click, go to trading, and now you're just going to simply choose which order type that you want to place. So let's say buy limit, for example. Now you can see buy limit has been placed, and now the order is working. You can see within your trade tab in your toolbox, the order is working here. You can see buy limit, one contract, 2141 half. I'm going to cancel the order. All right, now let's, one thing I want to let you know if you're wondering, how do I increase or choose how many contracts I want to execute? So you would have to, the top left corner of the chart, you'll see this little button here, show trade panel or alt plus T as a, sh a keyboard shortcut. You can click this icon here and just change the amount of contracts from this little these little up and down arrows, or just type in the value, whichever is easier. So right now it's a three. I'll close it. If I right-click on the chart, now you can see that the volume of contracts is three. So now you can see it's a three lot instead of a one lot. All right, so that's how you place a working order on the chart. Now let's show you, once you have the working order working, how do you modify it? So there's a couple ways of doing it. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to show you, let's, let's place a couple trades here. Just do a buy limit, for example, and we'll do a sell stop. All right, so you can see buy limit, sell stop. The orders are working. You can see within your trade tab in your toolbox, the orders are working. Here's the prices. You can see that. All right, so two ways of modifying the orders, a couple ways. All right, so I'm going to show you only off the chart. The first way is using the context menu option. So what you do is you hover your mouse cursor over the working order that's visible on the chart. Uh, best way to know that if you're hovered over the order is you'll see the tooltip drag to modify. 
All right, we'll demonstrate that method second, but first let's show you the simple context menu method by right clicking and then just go to modify. Now all you have to do is just choose the price that you want to change the order to. So this is the buy limit, but this is the actually sell stop, sorry. So we'll just change this to let's say 4075. All right, so you can see, now one thing that's kind of cool is notice that this modify button is not active and that's because I haven't changed anything. So the sell stop's working at 2141, so there's nothing to modify because I haven't made any changes. So if I hit the down arrow now that price is different, platform recognizes it, now the modify become, button becomes active. And now you can see the order has been changed. All right, let's, one more demonstration here on the buy limit, that uh, 2141 quarter. Again, you're looking for that tool tip. Watch what happens when I move my mouse cursor off it. That tool tip goes away, so that means I'm not hovered. Now you have the context menu, the, the, the entire chart. So you've got to right click over the actual order. You can also look for that double sided arrow as well. Modify. Now I can change the sell limit price to any price. So you're just looking for that modify button to become active. It is. Now you can see that order has been modified. So that's how to modify it using the context menu by right clicking on the order, go to modify and then change your price accordingly and then hit the modify button. Now this is my preference because I find it's uh, more efficient just because you can just single click drag and drop. Uh, so it's basically a drag and drop modification. You're going to take your mouse cursor, you can see the tool tip, drag to modify, we're going to do exactly that. You're going to hold down the left click with your mouse, while holding down the left click you're going to move the order to the desired price. So let's say 21, 41 even, let go, now you can see the order has been moved. So it's a left click, hold down the left click, drag, move to the new price, release, drag and drop. All right, we're going to modify the sell, the buy limit. We'll move it, say, from 21, 41.75. Uh, let's move it down to 41 quarter. So I'm going to drag it, wait for that tool tip. There it is. Drag to modify, hold down the left click. Drag, drag, drag. I'm still holding down the left click. All right, now I'm at 21, 41 quarter. Again, it doesn't have to be exact this price as long as you're, you're, you're close to the nearest tick. So release, and now the order has been modified. All right, and that's pretty much how you modify orders directly off the chart. I've already shown you how to place an order. Now we've shown you how to modify. Now let's show you how to cancel the orders. Very simple, two different methods. You can use the context menu, or actually it's pretty much just, I'll show you how to do it here as well in a different video, but for now, we're just gonna go ahead and right click on the working order on the chart, and you can see there's a delete button here. All right, so pretty straightforward. You're just gonna basically access the context menu option by right clicking on the working order visible on the chart, left click, delete, now the order is delete, uh, canceled. All right, so we're going to right click. Now the order is canceled. All right, and that's pretty much placing trades off the chart. It's, it doesn't get any more simple than that. If you have any questions about this, please contact our 24-hour support team. We're available at 312-893-6400, extension 1. Gets you transferred directly to our help desk. Otherwise, uh, please visit our YouTube channel. Show your support. Subscribe to the channel. We're always keeping you up to date on new products and videos. You can reach us at www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www youtube.com forward slash amp futures thank you for your time thank you for listening in and happy trading